But first, I want to give you my definition of what chaos engineering is. If you were to ask me, in my opinion, it's the thoughtful, planned experiments designed to teach us about our system, to help us find the weak points. Now, this has gone by a few other names in times past. Uh, I grew up with the concept of failure testing or disaster recovery testing, game days, concepts that embody this, this principle, but really it's been given a name and a definition now. So what is chaos engineering? The, the analogy that I like to draw, the one that I would say I could explain to my grandma and works well, is that of the vaccine. We're going to inject something harmful in order to build an immunity. Might be a bit counterintuitive, and oftentimes when I talk to, to companies or teams that are looking into this, the executive response is a little bit withdrawn. It's a little bit, oh, you want to do what? But I think that that bringing it home with the vaccine helps us to relate it to things that we're comfortable with, to things that we understand. But it's more than just this concept of, of hormesis, this concept of, of the vaccine. It's an opportunity to do things proactively. Most incident response, most incident management that I've been part of is a very reactive process. After the incident occurs, you ask the five whys about what led to it. You do the incident review. You do the, the triage and, and dive into why it happened. Chaos engineering allows us to be proactive, to get in front of the problem, to think about what could go wrong before it blows up in our faces. And then the last part that I think is key is once we have understood these attributes of our system, once we validated that they behave the way we expect, we want to automate it so that we can prevent the drift into failure. Systems will naturally, due to the contentions within them, come back into places that failure will reoccur or we'll see it again. And so by automating this, we can help prevent that or we can get some forewarning when we've caused changes that are going to result in trouble. Okay, so that's a little bit about what chaos engineering is. What isn't chaos engineering? Being a cowboy or a cowgirl, going out and just shooting, st shooting servers and prod and seeing what happens, not telling anyone what you're doing, being reckless. I think this is the fear that a lot of people have when they hear about chaos engineering at first. Oh, we're going to let someone with prod access just go out and break stuff? What could go wrong? So back to, back to this word, this, this term, chaos engineering. It's an emerging discipline. It's a new concept. But I think part of what's really galvanized it and brought it to being you know, something that people are becoming more familiar with is the name. There's a great blog post by Russ Miles recently on dissecting the name. And it got me thinking a bit about it. You know, chaos, it's, it's exciting. It's mischievous. This is where people, people's eyes light up when you tell them, hey, you can go break things, and it's part of your job, and you're doing the right thing. But at the same time, we've coupled it with engineering. We're, we're being disciplined about it. We're being thoughtful. We're, we're approaching it from a, a history of designing systems in an intelligent way. And so really, I think this combination is what is allowing this to gain traction. It, it maintains that, that mischievous, impish element but it combines it with something a little bit more comfortable and known. Another thing that I've noticed while, while thinking deeply about the name is the ordering matters. I think that uh, Chaos Monkey, for, for all of the greatness it's done, has also caused a little bit of confusion. When I talk to people about chaos engineering, they assume that I mean you have to randomly cause failures for it to be effective. I actually disagree with that. I think the right place to start is, again, thoughtful, planned experiments. And so really, perhaps this is backwards. What we really want to do is engineer for the chaos in our systems. We may choose to yield chaos as a tool to accomplish that, but that is not the only way. 